Jim Cunningham with you from WQED FM. We're looking forward to Colin Curry in Bene Bene Emmanuel from Sir James McMillan. Your debut with the Pittsburgh Symphony in Mount Fredhonic this weekend. Yeah, very excited about that. Um, such a wonderful piece and a, a marvelous orchestra, long admired, of course. Uh, so really thrilled to be here. Tell me about this piece and how long you've been doing it. Well, uh, Jimmy asked me the same question today. He said, how long have you been playing this, you know, by now? Um, <laughs> And, uh, yeah, more than 20 years. I mean, the piece is coming up for its quarter century. Um, it was written uh, between 1991 and 1992 and premiered that summer in the proms, BBC proms, London. So, yeah, this is its quarter century. Um, I was one of the first percussionists to take up the piece um, subsequent to the original soloist, Evelyn Glenny. Um, so I was 19 when I first got my teeth stuck into this thing, and it was... It was very exciting, very daunting, because it's a large, complex piece, certainly on, on first study. But um, it's been incredible, and it's been the, the, the constant thread throughout my career to have had the honour of performing this work so many times over such a, a long span. Sir James always has a spiritual element, mm. or often has a spiritual element to his music. And he writes fiendish things with percussion, all sorts of unusual things. This piece was very important for him. It, it really mm. uh, brought him to a much larger public around the world. Uh, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about Vene Vene Emmanuel. Well, um, in 1990, he had a, a, a very important and very successful premiere large orchestral piece called The Confession of Isabel Gaudi, which I also um, picked up on. Um, it, it was a very... Um, celebrated premiere and uh, again uh, as you say a very spiritual very emotional piece that one uh, an outpouring uh, of many many things and um, Benny Benny followed hot on the heels of that uh, it was a couple of years later and he developed his percussion writing in the concerto um, he handles extremely well the unpitched instrument though how often do we hear the tune that we know as O Come O Come <laughs> Emmanuel I remember the brass have it for a moment yeah. near the end but does it turn up in a couple of places? Well, in in a on on a, on a micro level, you actually hear it in I think basically every bar of the piece, although you may not know it because he's really got his scissors out and chopped it down to very small particles. Often, maybe even just um, the first two notes of the theme. So the theme being d d d d d d d d d d, um, he might just take d d <laughs> and just and, but that is actually part of the theme of course so he uses the this this musical dna to hold the whole piece together